Hi everyone! Welcome to Catatomic X's channel. So, as uh, mentioned in a previous thing where I was talking about spiritualism and such, I decided that I was going to buy a Ouija board. Um, I used to play Ouija boards when I was a teenager. There was a lot of strange occurrences with my bestie, Lindsay. Um, we had some really, really weird things. I'm not going to share those without her permission. Um, but I did buy a Ouija board. Brand new, so there's no demonic connections. Um, so the Ouija board, I'll give you a little brief history. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to look it up online. I mean, I can give you a, a history of the Ouija board, but you know what you can do? You go to this website called google.com and you type in Ouija board, spelled O U. I J A had to double check, and there's probably going to be a link to Wikipedia. Look at that. That's probably going to have your best information about Ouija boards. So, anyways, I love the spiritual movement of the Victorian era. Their fashion was beautiful. They were dark people. They like lived death, and I love morbid stuff. And they were really morbid. I mean, like they used to like put. They used to carry around glass bottles and they'd like put their tears inside and, and then like a anniversary of their loved one's death, they'd like sprinkle it on the graves. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Sarah Winchester, who had that huge house in San Jose. I went there once when I was a baby. I don't remember. I want to go again. I used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area, but I moved up to Washington State. So I don't know if I'm going to be going to the Winchester Mystery House, hopefully someday soon. Um, so anyways, uh, uh, Sarah Winchester, she was, she had a spiritual contact room. I'm not sure if she used a Ouija board or not, but, um, she did have seances in rooms to try to contact the spirits of the ghost to tell her what to build and she had to continue to build. And if she stopped building, she would die. So the construction stopped the day she died. Um... So, anyways, that's the kind of era that the spiritualism movement came from. There's actually still a religion. Um, what is that? Sedona, Arizona? Maybe I don't. I don't know. I think it's Sedona, Arizona, where they have. I feel like that's wrong. Please tell me if it's wrong. Where they have the spiritualism town, where they have seances, where the people sit around the tables and they contact spirits and junk like that. Um, S Salem is something like that. Um, actually, I live in the Pacific Northwest, and Port Towns and around um, Halloween, they have uh, seances, uh, like high tea seances and junk like that. Uh, the Twisted History Tours. Uh, I'll send you a link below. Um, I have not been on any of their tours just because I don't live in Port Towns and I don't drive, so it would not be effective for me to go and do it since it's at night. Or days where I cannot um, because I live in a small town and public transportation really sucks so anyways that's that's just some things um, so spiritual movement people were trying to contact with the dead um, you know people were at that time they were stepping more away from traditional Christianity and seeking out answers people were thinking at the time and even if some people think that spiritualism and spirit communication is a hoax um, you know, it's it was it was something to console these people uh, for a long time. People were dying all the time. You know, you'd have like 12 babies and only two of your babies would live to become adults if they didn't die from like a flu or something. So death was very common in these older cultures. A fact is we have something called a living room and that was named because they used to have, um, I believe it was a parlor where you would have your... Um, dead loved one that you would dress yourself and you would have a viewing in your home. Well, in the 1900s, we decided to step away from that and have, um, we didn't want to have dead people in our houses. We wanted to get away from all that. Um, so we, we call it the living room. Uh, anyways, that's just a brief history on the Victorian era and, and their kind of mindset and the fact that death was so prevalent in their lives and they wanted answers. They wanted to be able to speak to their loved ones. 
So they had seances. They had people that would con contact the dead. There was the Fox sisters who were actually the founders of the spiritualism movement. Supposedly one of the Fox sisters confessed that it was a hoax and she was actually tapping her toes under a table because they would hear rapping sounds during these seances. Um, but the other sisters denied that, so I really, I don't know. It was probably a hoax, like most of the people in that era were taking advantage of people who were grieving. Um, but anyways, Ouija board, it has been around for a long time. I had bought one. Ouija board. Uh, this is how they come now. It's actually really cool packaging. Uh, it looks, it looks wood. It's not. It's still, um, Hasbro. Um... I thought it was um, Milton Bradley that did it. Maybe it wasn't. I, I don't know. I thought it was different people who produced the Ouija board when I was a teenager. And I did surveys at the mall with my friend so we can buy a Ouija board. Um, ours was different looking. Um, I, I want to buy one of the ones that look like when we were younger. Anyways. Um, let's see. We have ages. Eight plus. Adult assembly required two to four players so you can be ages eight plus to talk to spirits and two to four players uh people do play with these alone and if you believe it works it works <laughs> all right so this is the container it's actually um kind of fancy now i don't know Lindsay. does this look fancier than the one we had look at this box it has instructions and and junk like that. It, it's really paying homage to the um, Victorian era. The planchette is pretty much the same. It's a different color. The planchette we had was a cream color. This is white, um, but it has the the um, the viewing screen. It's plastic. Uh, it has little rubber bottoms now. It was a kind of like velvety sticker before. So this probably will slide easily, more easily. Um, when we had it, it would like scrape up the board or one of the stickers would come off and like the board looked pretty shabby. So I think that they've made life a little easier for spiritual communication. Anyways, let's get to the board. Look at this. Look at how fancy this is. Look at the de little details. It's It looks like it's wood, even the back. Looks like wood. Um, when we were kids, the back was black. It's actually, I mean, it feels the same. This was twenty dollars on Amazon. Um, I I like how it looks, though. I do prefer uh the one from when I was a teenager because it's just sentimental to me. I think we destroyed that Ouija board out of fear or a cat peed on it or something. I don't remember what happened to it. I don't know. Um, maybe a demon like flew off with it in the night. I don't know. Anyways. So here is the Ouija board. How it looks. So let's see what I should tell you. S U B S. R I B <laughs> subscribe or like if you like my video spirits <laughs> anyways um so I just thought I'd share a little history of the spiritualism movement as well as a new Ouija board that I got I do have a glow in the dark one somewhere in my storage but I don't want to go in there because it's full of my storage so it's scary to go into anyways so I thought I would share with you guys a Ouija board I'm, I'm actually gonna start recollecting Ouija boards and have all kinds of different styles if there's any ones that you can recommend to me go ahead and comment below um, if you like my video or like to suggest or even have a little discussion about spiritualism please comment below otherwise like my video or subscribe or share um, and so have a spookalicious night. No nightmares, no spiritual communications. Remember, to, if you are going to contact the spiritual realm or the other side or whatever you want to call it, if you're going to do anything like that, 
please research before you do it. Do it safely because if you do believe in things like spirits or ghosts, which I do, um, bad things can happen. I'm not going to go into any details about bad stuff that would have happened without my friend's permission. I mean, she can share below if she wants or if you want to have a conversation about that, that's fine. I just don't think it's appropriate to talk about these experiences that we had as teenagers without her permission. Um, so anyways, um, please share any experiences that you may have had about um, with Ouija boards, spiritualism, anything like that. But please make sure you educate yourself before you do anything like this. Even if you don't believe it, um, things can happen. You can call it, contact negative energies. Please be safe with whatever you do. If you do not fully understand what you're doing, do not do it. But you can go online and research things. There are plenty of people who swear to not use Ouija boards. And there are reasons why. Um, you can call evil things. Um, but please, comment below. Um, start a discussion. This is stuff that's fascinating to some people. Talk about your experiences with ghosts. If you'd like to have a video of my ghost experiences, which I've had many, um, please comment below if you want to hear more about it. Um, otherwise, I'll just continue to do reviews on things, which is fine too. But, you know, we can, we can get into some serious conversations on my channel if you want. Um, so please comment, like, subscribe, share. Um, yeah, so have a spookalicious night. Be safe. And um, also, if you, you want to listen to some good shows, look up things about spiritualism and, and Ouija boards and stuff like that with Coast to Coast AM. Uh, I'm a fan with that. I just like to drop that a little bit. Um, they do have some good shows about ghosts and, and Ouija boards and things like that. It's a good place to be educated. And I think like every episode is on, um, you can get from their website or uh, they have a lot on YouTube. So uh, do that. I'm rambling. So bye. Have a good night.